as far as I know, uh, you can check the uh, that Hi. 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 I get very few volunteers. They have to know how to handle my uh, FAS uh, cats, and they're able to come here. Not new volunteers, so they're my more advanced. Yes, I, I know very little about cats. Uh -huh. What does FAS stand for? Fear, anxiety, and stress. Got it. Okay. Yes. And, and what type of scent? It's a pheromone that cats like release, so they kind of put it in like a, you know, when like those plugins that you do at home. So it's one of those. Okay. Yep. So we, um, and then little by little, my volunteers will come in and talk and, to them, and once they start calming down, then we'll go ahead and put them in the front. If we see any stress out there in the front, then we'll put them back here, so they won't be around people because public don't come back here. And then over here is a quarantine section for our cats, for the sick ones. Um, so they stay in here um, and they get treatment. And once their treatment's done, they go move up to the front so they can get adopted. Um, let's move into here. My volunteers will go ahead and fill them up and put peanut butter. And then they go ahead and freeze them over here. So I put them in the freezer. And once they are frozen, we'll go ahead and toss them in the kennel so they have something, the dogs have something to do. We also do popsicles. Uh, so we use these ice cube trays and we fill it up halfway. And then after we put a biscuit in there, then we put them in the freezer. And then we just pop them and give them a little popsicle. So with uh, chicken broth or beef broth. Okay, and then again, all the feeding that is done here, all the washing and stuff. So this section is just for mom and baby so they can be nice and calm in this room. This mama just gave birth when? Two days ago. Two days ago. Five babies. Want to go ahead and move in? Maybe you want to try to move that curtain too.
just loves everybody and everything and she'll like be very careful those arms are very expensive Lamar. Nice. <laughs> how long has she been here she, she's, available she's available to adopt um she hasn't been spayed yet so when she gets adopted we'll send her out to get spayed she loves other dogs she loves people She's for puppies. She's like super calm with everybody. Um, she loves licking the face, which is not something we encourage in a shelter environment. But you know, man, you can only do what you can do. So yeah, she's a sweetheart. Uh, How old is she? I want to say she's like 11 months. And like she's still, I mean, she's still pretty big, but she's not full. She's not full down. She's like right at the end of being fully grown. So I'd be, I'd be real surprised if she got taller, but she might fatten up a little bit. Um, she just is the sweetest thing, and is like one of those dogs that just loves people and just wants to be with everybody and at a party. You guys see Taylor, and then we have North and Coco. Um, so Amber already got adopted. She was here for a while. She was so sweet. Um, is Holly out there? Can you help? She just walked out. I want to. <laughs> See, is that what you call it? The seat of hat? It's black and white? I think yeah. it's like the other one. The other one? Oh, okay. Hi. Color white and black, so no. Reverse tested. So when when people come in to adopt, what do you guys do to 
try to ensure that it's the right fit for the dog so that they don't necessarily end up back in this situation. So my volunteers do a great job by assessing the dogs, take them out to play groups, um, trying to understand the dog, try to decompress, and we start asking questions like, uh, do you have any dogs at home? Do you have any cats at home? Um, do you know how to have them eat? Decompression, we have flyers. So we try the best they you know, people are like, I want this type of dog. They're like, okay, we'll show you that dog, but I just want to see this dog. I'm not pushing on you, but, you know. And someone who's dog. pretty inactive probably isn't the right person to take care of the dog that requires. We educate. All we're yeah. doing is educate and give them more information about the dog uh, that they didn't know about. So it's all about educating the public. No, you can't avoid it. Look at this. What's that? There, now you're ball. You're short circuiting the tricks. If you, yeah, if you do the slow hand raise, she'll bear you. She is like, you have a hair in your mouth, Bubba? Well, you're raising it. Um, so she was surrendered by her owners and has just been the sweetest, like, mom dog from the minute she got in here. Like, when we put her in with, like, young, rambunctious males, she does that and where she, like, pushes them and then, like, grabs at them until they behave. She's super funny. But she's, like... any indication that she's like gonna be weird when your little cousins come over whatever people got I don't know what uh, sorry, people do but she just oh, I just love dogs oh you love Nina yeah, yeah. <laughs> and our, <laughs> we attend soldier <laughs> 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 uh, rescue dog similar to so German Shepherd Black Hawk Oh, like, yeah, totally. Those curves are fun. Yeah, yeah. those are like great. Dogs. Yeah, totally. Yeah. So a little active, a little obnoxious yeah, sometimes. Little, yeah, yeah. Like a big baby, though. Yeah, to no, totally. That's, well, that's the best part, is when they're like, Jersey dog, just enough. Yeah. Like, man, will you knock it off? And they're like, yeah. no, dude, I know exactly what I'm doing. I got you wrapped around my little finger. Exactly. No, you can't go in there. You can't go get the, oh, the beardy's gone. Yeah, she's got the same attitude. I don't care what's going on. I'm cool with everything. Go say hi. No, ding dong. There's no food. No, there's no food here. Okay. But like, that's her natural habitat. Is just like leaning against a person. Yeah, I was gonna say she does it like a cat. Oh, she's a lap dog. Oh no, one. Excuse me. Excuse me. There's no laugh if I'm not sitting down. That's the best of the big dogs that don't realize right. they're big. <laughs> One hundred. No, that's what I love. It's just a dog that's like, I'm sitting on your lap, pal. Yeah. Aww. Daisy. Aww. <laughs> okay. The love affair. Oh, this oh, I can't. I, just, I, I always have peanut butter in my mustache. <laughs> So, sit She just, yeah. She's going where she's going. Yvonne, take a picture. Can we There we go. Everywhere. Obviously, everyone knows you as a big cat lover, but I think it seems like you're an animal lover in general. What um what did this mean getting to see this uh, shelter in particular? Uh, yeah, it's really cool uh, for it to be so close to Dodger Stadium, and I didn't even know this existed uh, here and how close it is. But it's really cool to see see all the animals, how they how they treat them, and the way that uh, they handle them, and you know trying to give them the best of life that they can have here. And, you know, unfortunately being locked up and. You know, looking for adoption. There's a lot of animals here for adoption. They said they had what 290 something dogs, which is like 130 over capacity. So, just trying to get the awareness out and, and get these dogs in better homes, these cats in better homes, and uh, yeah, there's there's just a lot of cases.
what is it like? I think so many times, I mean, you could say it with people too, but it's like, there's so much good in these animals and they may have a lot of scar tissue from their experiences and traumas. What is it like to um, kind of get to be around their their energy and, and kind of just see that they just need a little bit of love, really? Yeah, you can definitely see a lot of the, the stress on these animals, you know, being in their cages and not feeling like they know what, what's going to happen in the next, you know, day, let alone, you know, a year from now. But uh, like I said kind of before, the way that they, all the handlers treat the animals with, with so much care and they're so patient with all of them, it's, it's really cool to see that. Uh, it kind of goes both ways because you can see the animal's personality really come out. I'll ask you, I know you were saying your girlfriend has a couple of cats? Yes. Right? Um, what was this experience for you? And I know I heard you uh, referencing a rescue dog too. At the end. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, what, what kind of animals do you have and, and what did this kind of mean for you to, to come to the shelter? It means a lot. Uh, my girlfriend's two cats were actually rescue cats. So, uh, just seeing how they take care of the animals was awesome. It's eye opening and, uh, just to see how they work with it. And my, uh, rescue dog, oh, he was a rescue dog. So. Yeah, it was very special coming in here and seeing how they handle the dogs and cats and all that. You guys want to chime in? Yeah, was it an emotional experience for you guys seeing all the animals up for adoption? Yeah, for sure. Just seeing um, them caged in, you know, needing a loving home. It was uh, kind of heartbreaking in a way. But, uh, yeah, just spreading the awareness, making sure people know that these are loving animals that need home is uh, all we could do. Yeah, I mean, definitely you saw, you know, the mom and cat had their five kittens right there and just understand that those kittens are going to know nothing except for this shelter until they get adopted, hopefully. And then, you know, the two dogs that we were fortunate enough to meet, they are both awesome. They seem like they have great personalities They seem very chill or, or down for whatever kind of owner. And um, I know a lot, of, a lot of dogs and cats get like bad rep for being aggressive and these two dogs that we got to meet were just super caring they seem like would you guys say your pets have made an impact on your career or like what kind of experience have they brought to you that would encourage you to tell someone else to adopt yeah i mean personally i don't have pets um with me during the season but i know probably going back home after a tough game you know some just have that comfort feeling for sure helps out in the long run yeah i mean this off season especially for me uh you know doing my TJ recovery and all that stuff. Some days are easier than others and uh, some days are harder than others, but I know at the end of my work day, I come back home and my two cats are right there for me. But, <laughs> like every time, I swear, it's, the, it's one of the best feelings when I get to go home and, and see them for the first time after you know four or five hours. And how is your recap going? How's your own feeling? Oh, it's good. Um, starting my throwing-ish progression. Uh, started this week, so. Just taking it slow. <clears throat> Many great players come to Georgia from this season, like uh, Shohei and uh, Yoshinobu. So are you uh, looking forward to up to the mound even more? Yeah, definitely. Um, very excited to see Shohei and Yamamoto join, join the club, and for a long time, that is, too. So uh, it's going to be really cool to play with those guys and uh, get to meet them in spring training and then play with them next year. Sweet. Thank you, guys. Thank you.